Uh, my name's Tom Kerridge and this is Hand of Flowers in Mono. The most important thing is teamwork and, and building a team of people that believe in the same ethos as you. Understand what you're trying to achieve and understand the kind of uh, food operation that we're trying to offer and also believe in it as much as I do. My name's Aaron Mullis, I'm head chef of the Hand of Flowers. My name's Nick Beardshaw. I'm senior sous chef here at the Hand of Flowers. I'm Chris Mackett. I'm the development chef for the Hand of Flowers. My day-to-day -day role is uh, making sure all the boys are constantly motivated. And my role is to pretty much assist uh, Aaron and Tom in and support them in everything uh, with running the kitchen, running the kitchen when Aaron's not here. My job role here at the Hand of Flowers is to um, work on new dishes, we'll work on consistency. Teamwork is hugely, hugely important, and these guys 100% believe in the business as much as I do, which yeah, I'm incredibly proud and very, very privileged to have these guys as part of my team. Making sure everything's right, everything's so busy here, it's constant, that, it, that is a big challenge in itself. Everyone is striving for more and more success and more and more, perfect, more, and more perfection, which is, which is amazing. Pushing and driving on every single day and trying to be better every single day. The one thing that we strive for massively is consistency. I get off on things being exactly the same every single time. So if you're doing a 65 cover service, lunch and dinner, uh, it needs to be exactly the same. It allows between the four of us to, to, to have a spearhead at the top of that kitchen that, that drives that kitchen forward. And it's all about making sure that the customer is happy at the end of the day. And that's the main thing. The dish that I will be cooking for you today is the baked potato risotto with Scottish rolls and uh, the garlic scrapes. Cooking the, the shallots in a little bit of butter, adding in the brumas of potato, adding in the baked potato stock, cooking out the, the potato for two minutes, three minutes, and just until you get the right consistency. I'm going to add in a little bit of parmesan, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of, just to finish off, the mozzarella. In an emulsion, I'm going to be cooking off the Giroles with the garlic scrapes, which I'm going to peel back a little bit of the flower head. Spoon the risotto into the bowl, lay the garlic scrapes over the top, we'll scatter over the, the, the emulsified Giroles with a little bit of oyster leaf and also a little bit of the potato crisp on the top as well, which is the jacket potato skin, which is crispy. The dish I'm cooking today is uh, Corn-fed baby chicken cooked in malt and beer with a whole roasted baby celeriac and a hay infused gravy. The chicken is uh, brined first of all uh, and then it's cooked in a water bath at 68 degrees in beer, malt extract and some hops. It's then blowtorched when it comes out the water bath, glazed with a reduction of malt and beer, sprinkled with thyme and mould and sea salt. The baby celeriac is roasted in a pan in Bernalzette. It then goes uh, with some garlic and thyme. It then goes into the oven for around eight to 10 minutes. It's then glazed with honey and butter. And then it's presented with some baby celery leaf from the heart, some deep fried thyme, and a piece of roasted garlic. The gravy itself is a chicken wing jus, uh, which is infused with some roasted hay. The dish I'll be uh, cooking today is a tonka bean panna cotta with poached strawberries, strawberry jelly and a strawberry ice cream. We'll start with the panna cotta which is milk, cream uh, sugar uh, which is brought to the boil infused with tonka beans and we'll set that with gelatin. Then we've got poached strawberries. Uh, so what we do is we take the weight of strawberries, a quarter, uh, quarter weight of sugar um, and we'll just steam those over a, a bain-marie just until um, those juices start to come out we'll uh, take the juice from the strawberry and that's what we make the jelly with. Uh, that's served with, um, for texture, uh, licorice meringues, a little bit of honeycomb, a little bit of Atsina Crest to garnish, um, and rocher of ice cream on top of the panna cotta and we're good to go. Mm -hmm. 